So this date I met online and he asked me out and we agreed to go and meet for cocktails at a local vegan restaurant. So I get there and I see him and I'm thinking to myself, ah, you know, he's a little short, but you know, I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's see what this guy brings to the table, both literally and figuratively. So we sit down, um, we have drinks. Conversation is actually really good. He's being very vulnerable, which I think is a big green flag when somebody's willing to tell you about themselves and he asks if I want to eat dinner I'm like okay so we end up having this like really long three hour date okay and it comes time for him to pay the bill which he does and I'm thinking all right this is wrapping up so I excuse myself to go to the bathroom I'm thinking to myself as I'm in there oh this is going really well he's all green flags I'm thinking we're probably going to leave you know maybe I'll make out with him by the car or something kind of hot and sexy right I come back to the table I'm feeling all energetic and he's not there so I'm like that's weird where'd he go so I wait there for a couple minutes, but I'm just not that patient. So I text him, hey, did you leave? He immediately texts me back, do you want to sleep together? Via text. And I'm like, that's weird. Definitely not now, dude. Um, so I reply, I'd rather take things more slowly. And then he says, all the best. I'm thinking to myself, I'm so confused. You spent three hours with me, spent like a ton of money on dinner, and then you have the window of opportunity to make your move at the end of the date, and then you just disappear and text me? Like, what the hell? For the sex. But it's always disappointing. For me, anyway. I want to tell you guys a true story. It's so unbelievable that you're not going to think it's a true story, but it is. When I was 22, I went on two different dates with one guy. The first date, we went to the LACMA, which is a museum. And the second date, we went to the movies and got tacos. I wasn't into him. So when he asked me on a third date, I texted him back and I declined. And I said, I think you're a really nice guy, but I don't see this going anywhere between us. And I wish you the best and would love to be friends if you want to be friends. He never responded, which is fine. But then, boom, boom, boom. About a year later, I was at a bar with a bunch of my friends. I was sitting on a bench talking to this guy who was just my friend. And the guy I had gone on two dates with a year prior saw me across the bar and started making his way over to me. It took me a minute to even place who he was. When he got to me, he turned his back to me. He lifted up one leg. He farted on me. It was so loud, people turned around. He said, eat my shit and walked away. I smell shit! So they went on a date for three hours. She likes the conversation. He pays for the milk and she is happy so far. She doesn't even care that he was shorter than he said he was. So it's clear that she is interested in him and she even wants to make out with him. Then he leaves the restaurant and breaks the seduction by texting her and asking if she wants to sleep with him. I think he knew she was already interested. According to her, he had lots of green flags, but she must have got lots of red flags from his perspective. He probably decided to ask her to sleep together to let her know he was not looking for anything serious. It was a take it or leave it. If she said yes, great. If she said no, he doesn't care. This is clearly a guy who has options. That is how the guy gets revenge when you reject him after two dates. He walks across the bar when he sees you after a month and farts on you. I've seen women do far worse after they got rejected. I hope she smelt good for the rest of the night. Real men of genius. Real